I'm waiting for the 592 at Halifax bus station when I see a man in a raw skirt and hiking boots ahead of me in the queue. And I think, why the raw skirt? Didn't they go out in the 1980s? <laughs> Surely they're not back in fashion. Will big hair and leg warmers follow? Then it dawns on me how the skirt gets its name from the raw raw chants of cheerleaders as they motivate and titillate teams of American jocks. Perhaps that's why this man is wearing one. He's signalling an allegiance to, or passion for, the all-American male, or female. But why the big boots? Are his feet too large for women's shoes? It occurs to me the footwear may be a fashion statement. The man may have opted for contrast or simply an on-trend nonchalance. I contemplate the style of skirt I choose should I ever feel the urge to wear one. I decide on a pencil skirt. There's something about the way they sit demurely below the knee, yet have a bondage edginess. I picture the skirt forcing me to adopt a shuffling gait, like my great-grandmother, circa 1910, in her mythic kimono, fluttering through bird markets in Mong Kok. I find myself tugging at my jeans self-consciously, smoothing out my elegant pencil skirt. It mustn't ride up. A man with a sleeve tattoo leans into me, nods at the rara skirt and says, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I cough a laugh. Then I say, it's a rara skirt. <laughs> they were big in the 1980s. The man grenades me a look, scratches his tattoo, a mermaid playing what appears to be a ukulele. <laughs> he runs a coarse hand through muddy blonde highlights. Your hair looks old school George Michael, I almost say. Instead, I pat down my jeans again. Over by the bins, a pink tinged pigeon dances round the open purse of a samosa. Uh, and my next poem um, is about that most mundane task, uh, daily ritual of the morning shave. It's called Dragged Under. So many wet shaves in a lifetime. How many thousands and thousands. So many rituals at dawn's bleached bone altar. A falter of sharpened steel on skin. So much water. Feel it slide through your fingers. So many minutes turn to steam, clouding vision, sucked away into the city's mechanical lung. The roar and the rush, and once in a while from nowhere, swirling in the vapours, the apparition of an old Cherokee myth, the haunted whirlpool, where warriors have been known to drown before breakfast. Stare too long into its depths and you'll see a great company of men. Men who look a bit like you, ordinary men, wearing their smartest suits, navy blue or funeral black, grey-faced, blank-eyed, grumbling men. They beckon at you through the mist and eddies of foam. Come join us, they cry, their teeth porcelain white. Watch how they slowly descend to hell in a swell of red, how they frantically reach for you before vanishing through the vortex, sluiced into the guts of their megalopolis. Later, gluing a poultice of toilet paper to your chin, you tell yourself, you're not like those men, those lost men sunk and swallowed whole. And the face in the mirror smiles in agreement as he double windsors Monday's tie, jerks it snug. I came out as a gay teenager way back in 1983. And at that time, AIDS was only just beginning to have an impact here in the UK. 
Uh, initially, it was gay men who had been out since the 1970s who took the, the full brunt of the disease, uh, and many of them sadly lost their lives. Uh, these men um, were out and proud at a time when there was a lot of open hostility towards the LGBT community. And in my view, they made partying, dancing to the likes of Donna Summer and Sylvester, a form of civil rights activism. So my next and final poem is dedicated to them. And just so you know, it ends on a list of um, gay nightclubs that they were really pioneering because they opened in the 1970s. Um, it's, and the poem's called Return of the Discotheque Dancers. Come back, come back, you glistening boys, you clerks and scholars, farmhands, plumbers, you makeup artists, money men, you lives hacked short, you oh so very dazzling, you poachers, preachers, lovers, sons, my sons. Years ago, we buried you in shame. You bore the guilt as night closed in. So many men, so little time, the chorus rang. When the dry ice lifted and the spotlight glowered, so many friends were gone. Rise up, break free of soil, of stone, of ivy's snare. Come chase the hare, the handsome fox. Rattle cages, shake your bones. Come back for one last wicked whirly gig. Imbibe the city, its bars and clubs, its tribes and scars. Refrains that moved us then will tug the moon. Shed your shirts, your wounded skin. Shatter the glass dance floor. Our songs half sung, so flex your voices, roar like guns. Tallulah's waiting, devilish nuns are roller skating. Come back, come back, you glistening boys. Let's march again at bang, scandals, Napoleons, spats, subway, copers, and heaven, heaven, heaven. Thank you.